Hello everybody out there in YouTube land and welcome to DC Fans United. So today was a pretty big news day for DC so I have quite a bit to cover. I may have to do two videos to get it all in. For one thing I think there was a new Shazam teaser. I've been seeing stuff about it online. I need to actually go and watch it, but it looks pretty funny. Again, I hope they don't give away too many of the jokes, but it won't be too much longer before it comes out, so I don't think there will be any more teaser trailers uh, before then. So we got some updates on when Aquaman is going to be coming out on Blu-ray and digital release. So it is going to be getting a 4K Ultra blu-ray release so that ought to be very cool and it is gonna be coming to digital on march 5th so pretty soon less than a month away and it will be heading to blu-ray and dvd on march 26th so it's interesting they still even make dvds but uh, i mean i don't have a blu-ray player so i guess that makes sense uh so yeah you can look forward to aquaman on home release in less than a month or on Blu-ray in just over a month. So another thing that's going on is Todd McFarlane got the rights to make toys from Warner Brothers properties. So, you know, of course he created Spawn and all that and he's had toy line for decades really and has made all kinds of things from obviously Spawn but even Fortnite, uh, Walking Dead, NBA players, pretty much whatever he can get the rights to and he think he can make toys of. So the Todd McFarlane toys just got the rights to two of Warner Brothers properties. One of those is Harry Potter, which of course is going to be a gold mine, but he also has the rights now for DC toys. Now one thing to keep in mind is it's not exclusive, so he will, this company will be able to make DC toys, but it won't be the only one. Um, they're just going to be focusing on the higher end market, which is the adult collectors, and really that's where the money is anyway. I mean, these days, most of the buyers are probably adults, which is just kind of the way it is now. So it, it makes sense to the Todd McFarlane tends to be the higher quality products. So it makes sense that they would just go ahead and focus on the higher end stuff. Now, we don't actually have any prototypes or anything on what the new toys will look like because they just got the rights to it. So we're hoping that by, let's see, the next New York Comic Con, maybe they'll have some prototypes out. But for now, basically, it's just an announcement. So it looks like Mattel is going to continuing with the DC superheroes toys so that's been working really well for them so I do think that there is definitely different markets for these toys but it's kind of a niche thing so Todd McFarlane gonna focus on the adult toys and it looks like Mattel is gonna be focusing more on the kids toys uh, DC superhero girls DC action uh, Justice League action stuff like that so it looks like pretty cool I mean this is gonna be some high quality stuff I kind of wish there were some actual products for the DC line but they just haven't come out yet so it's gonna be interesting to see so just a little bit for now I will be getting back to you guys probably with another video either today or tomorrow at the latest and I'll be talking about the new Shazam teaser. I can't wait to check that out. It looks like Shazam will be coming out on April 5th so it's not too far away. It's just getting sooner and sooner but that's all for now. Thanks for watching. Really appreciate it. Be sure to hit the bell for notifications. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't and as always thank you for watching and being a part of DC Fans United. End of line.